in evaluating algebraic expressions, we're basically uh, given an expression. So let's say you're given an expression uh, of 2x, for example, and then we're asked to substitute a value in for x, right? If x is equal to 5, simplify this. So that becomes 2 times 5, which would be 10, right? So basically, this is what we're going to be talking about in this section evaluating algebraic expressions. So you want to replace all the places you see a variable with a number that you're told to use. You're substituting those values in and then you follow using the rules of, ex um, well, the PEMDAS, order of operations, in order to simplify the problem to the end. So let's look at one example that is given right away in the section you try it. Basically, you have x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 1, and the expression is x cubed minus y cubed. What that means is everywhere you see x, you replace it with negative 2, and everywhere you see y, you replace it with negative 1. So we have negative 2, we have cubed, minus, and then y would be negative 1 cubed. Notice that it's important, if you want to show your work, it's important you go step by step, plug in those values that you've been given, and then simplify each of the parentheses in this case, for example, and that will lead you to the destination. So here we have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, and then minus negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. That's what we've done with the cube, right? The cube is taking the number and multiplying it by itself three times. So what's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2? That's negative 8. And then what's negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1? That's actually negative 1. The negative is still there. The minus, I should say, is still there. Now remember what we learned in chapter 2. When you have a minus and a minus, that becomes a plus. So that's negative 8 plus 1, and that's equal to negative 7. So we've basically simplified the problem um, using the values that we're giving. We substituted those values in, and then we simplified the problem. So just remember, step by 